And Scott, I mean, we know that divisions have grown wider and deeper among Republican lawmakers, and that's happening particularly within the House Freedom Caucus, which recently voted to remove Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. What can we expect to see from the Freedom Caucus once the House reconvenes? Yeah, this Freedom Caucus and this reported expulsion of Marjorie Taylor Greene he is noteworthy because the Freedom Caucus isn't just some obscure faction of U.S. House members. It's the more conservative members of the House Republican Conference. But Lilia, they have, in essence, a veto power over Republican legislation in this Congress. Only five votes can be lost by Republicans on any bill. And this Freedom Caucus has any dozens of members who could stand in the way of the House doing its business and passing its bills. So if there's a fracture there, if there is disharmony, if there is an unsettled House Freedom Caucus, it puts in question everything House Republicans want to do. And we are just two months away from another key deadline. Congress must pass new spending bills to prevent a government shutdown. The Freedom Caucus has enormous power on what the U.S. House does, Lilia, and this could lead to a government shutdown when the summer ends. Oh, I haven't heard of that too recently. Well, Scott McFarlane, thank you.